I won't miss. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. You are watching Deer Meat for Dinner, but this afternoon, it's hog meat for dinner. This is the Bear X crossbow. This is what Sarah and Aria love to hunt with. It's got the Burris Oracle X on top. It basically, you range it and let it fly. It's gonna give you your holdover. Where do you know this bow from? This is the bow that I shot the only deer that I shot off of my old ranch. This is a bear refined. It's got the Burris Oracle on it. Same thing. Yeah. You draw down, range it, it's gonna give you your holdover, and it's the best sight. I'm gonna give you my release too. Whenever I was 10 years old, I shot a deer using a bear recurve. It was a Kodiak Magnum. This is the Grizzly. This bow right here has been made the same from the 1950s, 60s, all the way up till today, it's been made the same way, out of the same press, right in Gainesville, Florida. I wanna show you guys something very, very special. These arrows right here, they have not been out of here since 1960. That's over 50 years. These are brand new arrows. They have turkey feathers on the top. They're ready to go. They're made for a bow that's 45 to 50 pounds. Just like that. Same thing, arrows that have not been out of here since 1960. The Fred Bear way. That is, these little, these little uh, cutters, they're called bleeders. These feathers, they're straight out of like something medieval. They are, they are turkey feathers and this is made for hunting. If Austin can shoot that target right there, which is 15 yards away, using this right here, we're gonna, we're gonna dedicate this video to Floyd Engel. He lives in Illinois, Chester, Illinois, and then he's only gonna find out about it by watching this video. This arrow is gonna be shot into that target, and if Austin can play, make two perfectly placed arrows. I then will take the camera and we will go hog hunting. Well, that's a lot of pressure. He didn't actually tell me we were doing this, so whatever. There's pressure in the woods. There's pressure right now. Whoa. Well. That's close enough. It's a little further back than I wanted it. <laughs> that's closer than I would have got it. Perfect. First shot, I was a little bit to the left, and now I see the way it flies, and I put it in there. So tell me a little bit. You don't have a knock. You don't nothing. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people put a knock right here to level it out. I just kind of eyeball it. I don't shoot a lot, but when I do shoot, I shoot three under. Try to keep it level. Some people put a knock right there. But I shoot three under, and I like to put this knock right to the corner of my mouth when I come back. You want to shoot? Let's see. You want me to shoot again? Yeah. The reason why I put my hat back is if I draw, I'm gonna hit my hat. So I flip my hat around and I like to put this right in the corner of my mouth and I can't, I can't the bow and I try to visualize where that arrow is gonna end up. Right in the heart. Floyd, this one's for you, buddy. Last time I hunted with you, I accidentally took you on a seven mile hike. Sorry about that. But I'm gonna try to uh, make up for it right now to think that this is a tradition that uh, Fred Bear himself started a very long time ago. And I get to continue it this afternoon. It's just, it's a humbling thought, it's incredible. Hey, this is Emma and she's going, this is your first spot in Sulk, huh? Special day. Boy, this one's for you and Fred Bear. Let's go. I got two thermocells running here. I'm just gonna set them on the back yep. so, so we don't smoke hey, ourselves out. And paper towel for my GSP from drinking all the water. That better stay right there. Have to stay hydrated. Who should come over this? Out drinking. That guy's just so cute. 
How you clean your trucks are clean? Yeah, I, I got maids that come like once a week and they, <laughs> and they put my laundry right there. I don't know what happened this morning. But what I do know is I missed, but I'm not gonna let it get me down. It's raining right now, but I'm gonna keep shooting at this target, get my confidence up, get a good feel for the bow. We'll be right back after him this afternoon. We got poured on this morning, so had to throw my clothes in the dryer. Now I got dry socks. <laughs> I'm ready. I'll see you guys later. There goes Robert. So after talking over lunch, Robert and I decided, I think it would double our chances if we split up. So he's gonna walk down to where we hunted last night and I'm gonna go to where we hunted this morning. The wind has really been messing with us. I mean, it feels like Every 30 minutes we have like a category one hurricane. Now that I'm out here in the field, I'm taking my time and I'm glassing in front of me, looking through this dog fennel, looking for movement, looking for hogs, but more importantly, I'm listening. As you can see, those bigger hogs are ruthless towards those younger hogs. They all do that. Anywhere I go, a bigger hog is constantly hitting a little hog when they're feeding. I like this a lot. It's very cool down here. It only feels like 65 degrees. The wind's right in my face. I got 
about 30 minutes left to light. It's now or never. video but I had four deer standing right here at 20 yards oh wait, here comes a bunch of hogs here comes a bunch of hogs right here I had four deer right here look at all these hogs Austin just shot one I had a hog come in the good thing is I guarantee you it's the same boar hog that I miss he went in a huge circle and about an hour later came back so I know I miss dude that was one of the coolest hunts ever well, I know how you felt this morning. And I actually got it on video. That's good. <laughs> you missed? Uh, yeah. I know I missed because the hog came back in. I'm like, well, that's a uh, definite. That's the problem when you only have one arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I could have shot the hog the second time. He was like eight yards away, but. I'm the cameraman. <laughs> you can see like, uh, for those of you who know what you're looking at, like I'm going with 50 yards tops. The old barbed wire fence. Camouflage's best friend. Oh, but this is where he went. <laughs> he I'm gonna go with right there. You yeah. couldn't have hit him any more perfect. Um, unfortunately, I think I broke your arrow. I gotta say, I gotta give a sh big, huge shout out to Floyd Engel for A, he has no idea we're filming this video. Those arrows are over 50 years old. And I'd like to thank you, say thank you to Bear, Fred Bear, and all the men and women that work at the Bear Corporation, John Lane, everybody, thank you so very much. This one is for y'all. Hey, what an awesome, awesome day. I wanna just show you what we have. We have a lot more meat than this, but this is what we're gonna cook. This is gonna go on the smoker. It's, it's uh, marinated in mojo. This is gonna be, be deep fried. And this is what's gonna be a part of the video. We're gonna make this special. Um, when you look at it, it's a back strap. It's small, it's gonna be tender. That is the silver skin. So on that, it's very simple. This is a big part of me getting better. That's a juicer. That's not relevant at all, but I saw it sitting there, so I figured I'd tell you. So our cast iron is getting hot, and we don't want a lot of this, just enough. Take our back straps, and we're gonna lay them right down, just like that. We're gonna see them. A little Everglades, a little pepper. I want a lot of pepper on this side and then some salt this smells so good it is perfect this is from gabler <laughs> he sent me gabler one survivor 43 he's also one of my good friends him jason brad and gabler like we all do fun stuff like that gator hunt <laughs> the alligator! Yeah! Alligator! Take it off. So nice. This stuff right here, it's called balsamic glaze. And it is to die for. That is how you take an invasive hog and turn it into something amazing. Lord, thank you for this day. And thank you for this food. Thank you for all of our many blessings. Thank you for being with us. And Lord, I pray that your hand is upon each and every person that is downtrodden throughout the world. Please nourish this food to our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. I knew it was going to be tender. Very good. So good. That's how you... I will have to say, Rob makes fun of me for having COVID tongue, but since his strokes, 
on the bright side, I don't know if it's the stress or whatever, my taste has come back. Mm. So that's amazing, because that's really good. That, that normally would have smelled really bad to me. That, that is amazing. Good. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, all right, Emma, you want a piece? Try this, it's so good, Emma. Try it. What does it have in it? It's, it's just hog meat. She is <laughs> she, she, she. <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Awesome, great shot with the hog. What a hunt. What a day. What a life. Take care. God bless. And we are mm. gone. <laughs> oh gosh, you shut it right into it.